going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform, man. Much love. I appreciate all the love and the support. Now, in this video, I want to speak on how the entire summer, the whole spring, summertime of this whole COVID-19 thing, If you looked on social media, of course we all do. It just seemed like everybody was balling, balling out of control. You know, it just seemed like everybody had an influx of money. You know, um, there was a lot of foreign cars in the streets. Um, there was a lot of expensive champagne. Shout out to my man, Ism. <laughs> But there was some expensive champagne. Um, a lot of that being spilled and brought by a lot of people. Just, just a lot of, a lot of pictures of high life. And you know, um, salute to them, you know, for enjoying life. But lately, I don't know if. You guys are aware, but a lot of people who you saw balling with this, with the SBA loan money, with the PPP money, the PUA money, you know, um, a lot of people are going to get caught and they're going to jail. They're going to jail. Um, they just had an article out saying that unemployment already done recalled about, I think they said about 10,000 cases of unemployment. I think more, I'm not sure of the exact number, but a lot of people are gonna get caught up for um, unemployment fraud. Um, SBA fraud, uh, the PPP fraud. There's a lot of it's a lot of scamming going on in this time period of this COVID, thing. and a lot of people got a lot of free money, extra free money, and they're coming back around and they they grabbing people. And what shocked me was a lot of your early to mid 2000 entertainers, you know, rappers, they're getting caught up in the fraud too. A lot of your rappers and, you know, a lot of rappers, man, like I said, they don't have a lot of money. A lot of them make money off shows. They don't make money off of their music actually selling because they actually don't own the rights to their music. So a lot of these guys were fraud. They were scamming. They were committing a lot of fraud. And the government is coming back around and catching them too. They actually just caught Baby Blue. And I'm going to put the links to the articles in the description box. Y'all make sure y'all go and check them out. But they just caught Baby Blue from Pretty Ricky in a COVID scam. And I'm not surprised because what I found out about Pretty Ricky was the dude Spectacular, the one who was the guy basically in the background, he was the money guy. His dad was actually was actually their manager. So he was the one that really had the brains and he was the one that actually capitalized off the situation as far as money. And that's what 
you know, broke those guys up when I, you know, started listening to interviews and stuff like that. Money is what broke those guys up. But, um, you know, Baby Blue got caught up in a COVID scam. And a lot of these guys, a lot of these rappers you're going to hear, a lot of these older rappers, you know, like I said, um, early to mid-2000s artists, you're going to see a lot of them getting caught up in this COVID scam, man, because they need the money. Because you got to upkeep that lifestyle once you once you begin to live it. You know, and their, their lifestyle is not cheap. You know, so... You know, um, I hope Baby Blue, you know, um, get out the situation the best way he can. But y'all stay tuned. I will be uh dropping more videos on other entertainers that's getting caught up in this whole COVID scam that's been going on, man. Like I said, whoever did all of that scamming during the COVID nineteen thing with the SBA loans. With the PPP stuff, the unemployment, they double back around and they getting it. So they even getting the rappers. So you will know what it is. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. We'll catch y'all on the next one.